I am back at Uncle E's where you have to have over 50% Hawaiian blood to live back here. Today, I'm gonna be spearfishing some crazy rough water, poking some fish, and then Uncle E's gonna whip up something special. So, let's see what he's got to say about the water. She. So what you think about the conditions, Uncle? Woo. Super rough. This is the roughest I think you ever came. I wouldn't go. Um, but I know you're itching. Get pukas, get windows. If you can find them, then over here is always, you know, get fruit. But sometimes you got to weather the storm. <laughs> That's all it is. <laughs> it's not safe. <laughs> it's definitely not safe. <laughs> All right, full Sandy. So I'm kind of just cruising, I'm putting my fins on. I call this zone the toilet bowl right here because it can get pretty nasty in there. So I'm waiting for the toilet bowl to clear up and I'm just taking my time getting my gear on. Right now it's nice and clear. So I climb down and pop onto my butt and I get ready to boost the heck out of there. I gotta clear all this whitewash and then I'll be in the safe zone. And you can see this fat wave coming in. If I was in the toilet bowl when this was coming by, that's whew, sayonatas. Woo! You know the wave is pretty powerful when I got side waves coming off the wall. I look down and boom, no more belt kui. So I gotta use my belt reel. I don't know what it is about these honus, but they just love me over here. They always come in to check me out. First drop of the day. And when I get down to the bottom, I look up, boom. Honu's streamlining it straight back towards me. I take a peek to my left and look who decides to fall straight from the sky. This knife jaw doesn't even notice me. So I grunted to try and get his attention and I ended up scaring him away. He's still kind of interested, but then the surge just pushes this fat school and they knew he's in and they bully him out of here. You know, I have a feeling the Honu might actually be one of my secret amakuas because there is one cruising with me at all times. I spot these two fat aluas, but it looks like they're cruising out to the depths. They're headed straight towards the drop off. It drops down to about 200 feet over there. It gets deep pretty quick. I get down to the bottom here and I'm checking out this little Amilu and the surge is just pushing him all over the place. Look my amakua up on the top right over there. <laughs> Always watching me, kind of creepy actually. I'm not too interested in this Amilu, but I can tell I gotta start getting some stuff quick because I don't want to be in the water that long. The powerful surge is just moving everything all over the place. I spot this Roy and I can tell that the surge is gonna push him forward so I'm anticipating the movement. Poop. Got a nice shot on him. I take a peek to my right. Oof. Two tasty moonus right there. So I load him up again. I pull this guy off the prongs. And this is a CT9, which means it's a nine footer. Most people, the CT8 is probably a better size. I got kind of longer arms so I can reach him. And now the moon is just waiting for all these fish to clear so he can come home for din din. I get down to the bottom here and this uhu is pretty curious in me. She's wondering what the heck am I doing down here? And I'm wondering the same damn thing. 
But I can tell the Sir just pulling her out right now and it's gonna push her right back in towards me. So I'm getting ready to pounce on her. And as she's coming in, she stops, so I take a lunge. And she literally poops herself once she sees me holding the CT9. This Roy, on the other hand, wants to sample the CT9. So I'm just waiting for a nice angle. So I let him sample, but unfortunately I hit him kind of high and he comes right off. I think I got him pretty good though. But right here we got Unks' favorite fish, the Pelucala. Poop, got a nice shot on him. Pulling him in and hope oh, he starts burning rubber, so I gotta put him against the rocks. And we got that bad boy coming home for Din Din. I like to cut the barbs off, especially when the fish is dangling right next to my body. My camera's kind of low, but I'm lining up on a pelu collar right here. Got a pretty nice school around me, so I'm pulling this guy in while I'm loading him up one more time. I pull this guy off the prongs, and now I'm just dangling my whole body off to the side of this rock, waiting for the school to come back in. And this is why I love the CT series. This is a pretty far shot, but the weight behind this tree prong. Oof. It's enough to generate enough power to just punch him right to the head. Someone bit this guy's flapper off. But I don't like it when the three flapper honus cruising around me. That's bad luck right there. So I get down to the bottom and I'm locked in on this Munu. He's kind of swimming away, but I know he's coming right back. You cannot deny the CT9. Boom, as I'm pulling this guy in, I see this fat Roy coming out the bottom of these rocks. And I don't know what happened, but my camera went shut off, but Unks one smash him. My Almaco is coming up to me to check out what I just got and he sees this fat Roy so I offer it to him, bless the Almaco's, now he can have one fat meal for grind. Last drop of the day and I get down to the bottom here there's a pretty nice sized Kala up there, the old unicorn fish. And he's checking me out, he's keeping his distance, he's kind of toying with my emotions right now. He's coming in, the Omamale butts him out of the way, and then boom, out of nowhere, two fat Amilus coming by. I thought I nailed him pretty good because you can hear his grunt starting to slow down. It kind of sounds like a heart rate monitor right when you're about to flatline. But poop, out of nowhere, this bugger come back to life. And I can see him down here on the bottom. He's pretty boss up. So I take a drop so I can secure my Uncle Isushi. If I can get him, that's how we plan on eating this guy tonight. Of course I go and get him. And if you like get him too, go ahead and head over to EvolveDiving.com. And check out their amazing three prongs. Any one of their series is badass. Also, if you use my promo code HAMA, it'll take 10% off your entire order. HAMA deals cuz just for you. Wetsuit's coming soon. But how's this guy, huh? My Amako wanted to check out what I caught, so I had to show him and throw him the shaka. Look him as I throw him the shaka, he's following me back up to the surface because he knows I'm about to exit and he's got to help me get out of here safely. Yep. 
Nice Kui though. Pretty stoked on all these grinds. Uncle E gonna whip up something special with all of that. But I'm not too stoked on this right there. I gotta power through all of that and get to Uncle E before we make anything. So I start swimming towards the outside of the break. And now I'm just chilling in this little safety pocket, just watching what the water's doing, contemplating my escape. And this is what it looks like from shore. This is what I gotta deal with. So I'm in no rush here. I'm safe in this spot and I'm just waiting for the swells to die down so I can swim in safely. I'll freaking wait here all day if I have to. Basically, this is the route I gotta take to get to my exit. So I see my window. It's flat right now. So I start swimming in backwards so I can really keep an eye on the sets. I'm still in that zone where I can turn around if I see a big boy coming in, but it looks pretty good, so I decide to just full sandy. I got my CT9 clip to my belt, and I'm just busting those double overhand strokes straight to my exit. What a crazy dive that was. <clears throat> kind of lost my voice, but I made it back to my truck. Got the fish on ice. I got to rinse off. And then it's time uh, to cook up some grinds by the master chef, Uncle E. Honks, why didn't you tell me the water was so rough out there? <laughs> I told you no go. I always tell you, bro. <laughs> every time you you seen the water, I told you no go. If I was you, I wouldn't go. But nah, yeah, it wasn't too bad. Honestly, though. nah. Yeah, at Lettuces, um, I I trust to a certain extent that you can. You never die yet. So <laughs> I guess it's working. You wanna check out the grinds? Oh, oh yeah, yeah. Me. Watch out that spine. Where they get one, where they get two. That one will catch you. Look how rough that is. It's a perfect surface for scaling. Check it out. All that slippery slimy. You rub them on a rock or you rub them on the sand and then the thing um, pulls it off. You gotta get the scale off the face. See that? You gotta clean them up real good. Every scale off. These humilos, it's a, it's a nice one. It's perfect for eat. eating size. Get one, lay down the back. So we just get in under it. 
and then you kind of take your time you don't need to really push forward too much but you gotta have one sharp knife and then you take them off in this fashion and then plenty of people don't know this this makes a great fishing lure right there oh yeah you put this on top of one hook and then you can like look at it in the water it looks appetizing i would bite it nah, that's pretty cool yeah and you get two off of each fish so there you go little pachosaurus rex Oh, that's gonna be a nice fire. How's this on the tree prong is still holding up. Starting to rain pretty bad and kind of putting out our beautiful fire that we just made. We got a little secret gift for uncle. Here you go, Onks. Some gift it's from the brothers huh? and uncles at Evolve right there for you. Huh? Yeah. Check them out. Wow. There's, get, uh, there's some gift inside here. Yeah. Oh. What's going on here? We got you Whoa. set up, Onks. I remember you saying Whoa, you wanted one too long. Man. <laughs> for real. Check them out. We got you the Evolve CT8. One eight foot out right there. Oh, I'm glad I get this because my auto ones, they're holding up my tent. <laughs> Whoa. Wow. Paul, oh, can I wait for you to use them? Wow. Look at tips, get different. Wow. This is for me. It's all for you. You're going to make me cry over here. <laughs> Wow, look at that. Wow. What is the difference between this one and this one? This one's got the knurled tip, so it like holds on to fish better. It's more grippy, you feel them. Oh, feel them. mean. That's the one for the uhu, that one. Yeah. Wow, that's, you know, when I saw that idea, I mean, think about us guys old school. We just use the tip that rusty. Yeah. And I think hold the fish. <laughs> oh, weight belt. They just came out with this weight belt. Brand new. Just hit the market. Oh, like killer rubber. I heard you in the other video, you said you had on rubber like over one year or something, huh? Yeah, they last forever. Holy. It's cockable, bro. Right now. <laughs> Evolve? Yep. Mass I didn't know snorkel. they even made masks. We're gonna go in the bedroom in Mohini tonight. I'm gonna wear this, bro. <laughs> I'm gonna wear this with the stick on them, everything. Woo. <laughs> wow. My fins I get right now, I bought them. I was, I think, 19, 20 years old. <laughs> I still use the same fins. That's how, huh? Yeah. Nah, I know, I know, uh, I know, but I just got you a pair just in case. Oh my God. I know you love your Oh fins. my god. Oh. This is a freaking Bill Gates kind fins. Wow, bro. I'm gonna design on them, everything. Oh, look at that. Wow. Look at your Malolo flying. Oh, beautiful. Wow. I'm fighting back. Crying. <laughs> Why you gonna do that, bro? I stay over here trying to cook. And I, oh man. Hey, the brothers that evolve, bro. The brothers that evolve. Much love. I gonna send you back something. Shucks. Now we are at war. This is the war of Aloha. 
I'm going to aloha you more than you aloha me. Watch this. I, you, I, I feel like I'm hard to beat, but you guys, oh my God. You got me a good one. Woo. Uh, too funny. Oh my God, bro. But what? You bought this for me, huh? You bought them. No. They didn't sponsor. Yeah, I didn't send them. What the fuck? Next time I come over, we're going to take them out and Uncle E going to show you guys how right there. Thank you guys so much. Oh. That's crazy. This is fancy stuff that. Us guys over here, you know what I mean? Yeah, I see when school fish. I pick up the Ely Ely, I fly them at them. I catch <laughs> like three or four. You know what I mean? Like nice kind of equipment like that. Look at that. This one, you get the grip on them. That's so dope. Wow. So we get two Munus and one Roy. We're gonna go ahead and throw them in the same curry dish. Down below, we're gonna deep fry these potatoes in small cubes. They're gonna fry off real nice. This is special coconut oil that my wife made out of olena and coconut oil. So she took the olena and then just fried it down and this gives a real special action to what it is. And then we'll add, <laughs> I kind of shame, you know, you guys, brah. <laughs> Look at all these coconut trees and I can use them canned coconut. That's, <sighs> Yeah, we're gonna put some coconut cream in them. <laughs> Left his carrot up on this ground. Yeah, yeah. No laugh, you gonna eat them. <laughs> I just scrape them off, no need to wash them. Gives them, imparts them real nice flavor, so it's coconut and turmeric. That's what this is. Smells good. Yeah, isn't that flowery and nice? Yeah. I'm gonna try to leave the pieces kind of big, but still like impart the flavor. Put some peppers. These are not that spicy. Yellow curry paste coming on bag inside of this container. Coconut cream. Gotta get everything all crisped up. Have a nice texture inside of our curry. You know, I mess around, make them cherry. Right here, we get the curry paste. We can put a little bit of that inside. Soup. Sorry, the thing looked the way the thing looked, but eh. It's yellow curry. I don't know why the thing brown. After that, we throw the cilantro root with the bottom of the cilantro. Give them a special extra something. And then now we just gotta go like that. In fast bed. Just a little more enough for the for the cocoa. I'm gonna treat this quite simply. Like that. And put like that. Put like that. Put like that. Okay. Now we need the fish. And then we just go put for our curry. We dip them in a little bit and then put them on top like that. And then just like that. Like that. And then we get the Roy. Put that one away like that. Action right there. Whew. We need a lid for the pot. 
We just gotta use this one. We're doing a little flipperoo. So here's the fish. They're doing well sitting on top of their bed of bok choy. Everything is coming together just about perfectly nice. Some cilantro, green onions. See that crispy. The flavor of the fish is like totally in the bones, so we're gonna enjoy it. Anybody like? What do you think, Auntie? It's good. Yeah? What do you think of the fish? That's a milu. It's really... It's not so crunchy. It's fresh, yeah? Yeah, it's fresh. Soft, I like tender. It. Mm -hmm. Tender. Yeah, it sat on ice. I think long enough to kind of soften up. The younger ones is more tender, huh? Here you go, Radiju. Wasn't one... Wasn't one monster one, huh? No, not, you don't like that. Oh, the Uncle E special right there. The milu sushi. Mm. Auntie put a little bit of sugar in the rice. It just all blends in so good. Just perfect. Okay, let me make you a plate. I just pull you off that. Mmm. Oh, Uncle Gatama. Huh? Mm. Leave the bone right down and then just grab the boat of filet. <laughs> Some greens. It's always healthy. We're gonna put one fat scoop rice, and then you can grab as much as you like after that. Boomba. There you go. You set. Let's uh, bush hack that. Wait, and then you can just dip. Wow. The goatfish cook perfectly. Super soft and airy and just melts in your mouth with the curry. Pretty badass onks. I don't think I ever had curry like this before. The killer dive. Every time you go, you go. I still worry about you, I still on land like rah, rough, you know. <laughs> and then you just soldier and then go major. And then we end up with cool fish, so we still get that, but we lucky. You know, we're real lucky, we blessed. Our kupunas never fight and lose their lives for no reason. <laughs> we appreciate. Yeah. yeah. Next time I come over, you can jump out with me and sample that CT8. Oh, automatic. Automatic. You know <laughs> that. I can, I can warm up before you come, too. Yeah, you Like, I'm down for the night sessions, me. Yeah. A little bit. Yeah, I don't Ooh. know. That's the one, right. huh? It's been a hot minute since we went out. But his tree prong is being used to hold up the tent, huh? So now he get one, and <laughs> now we good to go. Let's try some Roy. Roy right, is killer. With the sauce, the thing is mean. Some Roy curry right there. Interesting. It's not as soft as the Munu, but the flavor is definitely there. Oh, that was a good piece. I think I like the moon a little bit better though. Me too. I yeah. think it's a better fish. It's a better fish, but then the whole thing is like, we eat the Roy because the Roy is a bully on the reef and you know, he creates problems for the other fish. So every single time I see him, I shoot him. And sometimes I take him home and we eat him and then sometimes I just leave him out there to die. If you look at one place, they get plenty roy. Lots of times, you're not going to see any baby fish. 
because they, they pound all of the poor. You know, poor is the name for the little stuff. Huh? And so they pound everything and then they knock them out. Like naturally we get like popa, hapupu, um, kaku, things like that. Those guys is the natural predators of some of these fish. But then um, when the Roy, the Ta'api and the Ta'awin show up, they started this, bro. There's a pop, 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 pop. They just was coming out swinging. And then that's guaranteed lose money because the guys had like, you know what I mean? These buggers was like kind, full on MMA kind. Just like, you know, they're, they're all nuts. And then so then pound out our local fish. So, <laughs> <laughs> so like, we got to help them out a little bit, poke them, eat them, <laughs> kill them, use them for fertilizer if you live in a place where the thing is toxic. Where we stay, we're lucky. The thing is edible, we eat them. But if you're in a place where it's toxic, shoot every single one. So that was good grinds. It is wonderful to get together. I appreciate the gifts and mahalo to everybody from Evolve. Big time. Mahalo, mahalo, mahalo. Nui, like cherry kind. I like mahalo, just everybody who still watch, right on. Um, mahalo my son, my wife, brother Jay. Mahalo to the Akua. Mahalo to my friends, my family, and yeah.